In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute flower arrangement box basket type thing using some signs from the Dollar Tree. Now, Liz and I do apologize for a lot of the pauses and breaks in this video, okay? Because I got the idea in Dollar Tree, and then as I was making the video, I was just winging it to see what I could make out of it, okay? So stay tuned, and I will show you what Alrighty, I did. Alrighty, let's get started. So first off... I have some of these really cute springtime, like, wall-hanging sign-type deals that I found at Dollar Tree. They had several different colors and a few different sayings. This one here actually had no sayings on it. It was just butterflies and flowers. This one says, keep life simple, and it has some bees on it. And the one that I really want to use right here, it says, celebrate everything, and it has butterflies on it. So we're going to start off with this one. You need that. You're going to need a pen, an X-Acto knife, a hot glue gun and glue sticks. And you're also going to need a piece of foam board from the Dollar Tree. Yes, this is a much bigger piece, but I cut it down so that I can fit it on my table here. And you're also going to need um, some of that floral foam to put down in it and some artificial flowers and maybe some butterflies if you want to use that to reflect the butterflies in this sign. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull these apart like this. And then we're going to use these to cut out a bottom from this foam board here. Now these are not perfectly square, they are more rectangular. So what we're going to do is, let me get this out of here, and I'm going to just cut it right here. I'm going to line up the long edge of the sign with the edge of the foam board. Okay, then I'm just going to draw a line here and then draw a line here. Now let's take the long edge. And I'm just going to put it here so that I can measure about how long it needs to be. Just like that. You know, you can measure it out with a, um, a ruler if you want to. It's up to you. Just measure your piece and see because the, the bottom needs to be as long and as wide as the long side here. So now we're just going to draw a line there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get that out of the way. Now we're going to take our X-Acto knife here and just very, very carefully cut out that piece. And with this foam board, I suggest using something like this because it's like it has a coating and then a coating and then the foam on the inside. And if you cut it with scissors, sometimes this coating will crack and dent. And it really doesn't look all that nice. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carefully cut this out. This is going to take me a few minutes because I like to go slowly. So I'm going to pause the video while I do this. And when I get it cut out, I'll come back and show you how to put it together. And we'll decorate it. So hang on just a minute. Okay, so I have my piece cut out here. Now what we are going to do is we're going to take these pieces and we're going to glue them all to here. This is going to be the bottom of our little container. And y'all know as well as I do, <laughs> when it goes to Dollar Tree stuff, a lot of times everything is not uniform, okay? So one of these might be just a tad bit wider than the other. So we're just going to kind of wing it here and do the best that we can. Now we have two of the flowers and two that says celebrate everything. So I'm going to start with the celebrate everything. I put one here and then the flower one and the celebrate everything, you know, so that it's not all wop-sided so basically all i'm going to do is i hope my glue gun is hot enough i just plugged it in we're going to put a line on one edge right here and then take the bottom here and just glue it up against it now you're probably going to have to hold this for a few seconds you know let the glue really cool down and harden up before you move on to the next one so that you can make sure that it's in place. 
<clears throat> excuse me, I really like this Gorilla Glue. Aside from, oh Lord, y'all, I want to sand this table down <laughs> and recover it pretty soon. I know it's, this table is so old, bless its heart. But, um, yeah, I really like the Gorilla Glue. It holds very, very well, but it does have a longer cooling down period than some of the other brands. Now, let's move on and do the butterfly. And which side do I want up? I don't think it matters too much. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some glue right here. Oh, I'll go back and take that label off later. Like I said, these may not fit perfectly together initially. Just do the best you can. Because at the end, we'll go back and really make sure that the edges are flush. And then we're going to run glue down the inside, okay? So don't worry. We're going to glue this little guts together here in a bit. All right. So now we're back to the Celebrate Everything panel. It's going to go right here. All right. And yeah, it would help out a lot. <laughs> if these little signs, I'm going to call them signs, if these little signs were completely uniform in width and size, but it's okay. We're going to work with what we've got. I'm just going to press it together really tightly. And we'll see what we've got. Yeah, that's going to look just fine like that. So I'm going to glue this last panel on, and then I'm going to take the glue, just make sure all of the edges are flush, and then I'm going to take the glue and run a seam like right up here on each one of them, okay? That's what I'm going to do next. So just run a seam of glue all over the inside just to make sure that it is really good and stuck together, and this is what it looks like so far. So let me work on that. Pause the video again, because I know that y'all don't want to watch glue dry. And then I'll come back and we will add some flowers. Okay, so here is what we have so far. This is our box. It's like this. And see, there is the glue inside of it. Okay? Really holding everything together. And now what we have here. And I tried to do this so that these raw edges shown here were on opposite sides. Raw edges here, raw edges here. And I'm like, you know, what can we do to cover those up? You can cover them up with ribbon. You could use, uh, I actually have a piece here, some of this diamond wrap, you know, cut a strip of that and cover them up. If you have some glitter that would match, you could paint this with Mod Podge and then sprinkle some glitter on it. I have some of this gold rope left over from my Christmas stash that I'm just going to glue on top of it and then leave some up top to look like a little handle. I thought that might be cute, but you could use twine or, or whatever. So to do that, <laughs> to measure out a piece, I'm just going to put the end right here and then measure it up this way and try to guess how much I want for my handle. I guess that's all right. And then just come back down this way and we'll cut it. And then before I glue it down, I'm going, oh, for the love of Mama Dixie. I'm just going to measure out another piece. Like that. And then once again, we're going to get out our trusty glue gun. And I'm going to try to do this and not make a mess. Yes, I do have a little tiny glue gun. But it's a low temp one. And I'm currently out of low temp glue gun sticks. So I would use that one. And I was looking for it before I sat down to do this. I'm like, dadgummit, I'm out of the sticks that will fit it. Now, the good thing about having an X-Acto knife like this is if you can see, I got like a little tiny bit of glue right there. Just a tiny bit, but it's going to drive me insane. You can go back once everything is stuck down and use this X-Acto knife and just very, very carefully try to cut that glue off. Okay, and this may not be perfect right now but it's okay later on i'll come back and try to make it a little bit more perfect so i'm just going to glue this down right here as neatly as possible and i apologize for all of the breaks in the video on this one 
but you know it was like a lot of little pieces to put together and a lot of glue setting up time that i thought you know was kind of boring that y'all didn't want to see so let's see i'm hoping that this is going to look okay you know like you get something in your head and you're like oh that's going to be adorable then you put it together and you're like Bleh. let's hope this is not going to be one of those things and then my Dollar Tree, thank goodness, they are really starting to put out a lot of their spring stuff. I was in there earlier, and yeah, I was bombarded with Valentine's Day stuff. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. I was bombarded with Valentine's Day stuff, and then I saw it. They had stacks and stacks and stacks of boxes of the Easter and spring stuff. So I am hoping that they get out a bunch more of that stuff that I could really start on the spring videos. And I was very lucky to find these little signs kind of laying off to the side. So I grabbed them. Okay, I think that's going to look okay. What do y'all think? Oh, Lord. I think that'll be okay. That's going to cover up those, those little edges there and give it a little extra something something. All right, there we are. Now that could just flop down and look like handles. How cute. Okay, yeah, I, that, that'll work. Now what I have here that can just fit right down in there is some of this uh, styrofoam for flowers. This actually came from Mighty Dollar, but you know, every place you go carries this stuff. Walmart has it. Dollar Tree does have it. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put us a nice big old blob of some hot glue here and then just stick it down in there just like that and yes it does kind of eat into the styrofoam a little bit because my my gun gets very very hot it's old <laughs> and it gets a lot hotter than what it should i think but anyway now that that is in there now i have a bunch of these artificial flowers cosmos this is about the only kind of flower that my, my Dollar Tree had. Everybody bought up the tulips and the, the crocus. So now I have a bunch of daisies and the cosmos and all that. I really like these. So now all that there is left to do is just stick our flowers down in there. And then I might glue a butterfly on here to kind of reflect the butterflies that are on the signs. And then we will be good. And this butterfly came from the Dollar Tree as well. <laughs> so I might glue glue him onto a flower. I don't know. But I'm going to work on these and get all my flowers put in here. I love that sound. <laughs> I know y'all are getting sick of me pausing this video. I do apologize. But I'm going to have to do it one more time while I'm putting all these flowers in here. And then I will come back and I'll show y'all what I've got. So please hang on one more time. All right, y'all. Now, look, I don't mean to do this. I know it probably drives some of y'all crazy, but I don't mean to do it. Um, I, I'm like, you know, aside from the little handles, why don't I just take this gold rope and just go all the way around the top and all the way around the bottom? And it kind of gives you a nice like a nice border okay so whatever you're using rope ribbon diamond wrap whatever you know just go around the top and bottom if you want to that's just something that i did of course you don't have to do it this is with all of my flowers in there and i glued on a few butterflies yes y'all seen this at the beginning of the video but i am really pleased with how this came out and like i do apologize at the beginning of the video i'm sorry for all of the pauses but I was just kind of winging this, okay? I sit down, and I'm like, let me make something out of this. I honestly had no set plan on what to do, but this is what I came up with. I hope that y'all enjoyed this. If you would, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.